You might have been thinking to yourself, is it even worth it to upgrade a Windows 11? Well, in this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly everything about Windows 11 and might help you decide if it's worth it for you to upgrade to Windows 11. So the first thing that threw a lot of people off was actually the system requirements. This is probably the first time we've seen this with Windows upgrades. You need to have a 64-bit CPU with a clock speed of 1 gigahertz. Also, you need to have at least two cores. You need to have at least four gigabytes or more RAM. You need to have at least a hard drive space of 64 gigabytes, which honestly, who would use 64 gigabytes as their hard drive? Windows would take up over half that leaving you barely any room to install anything, nor make a lot of documents unless they're Word documents. So, yeah. Anyways, the GPU needs to be compatible with DirectX 12 or Windows Display Driver Model 2.0. Now, those weren't the system requirements that threw people off. The ones that threw people off was your motherboard has to be capable of having TPM 2.0, which there's some workarounds for that. I'll leave some in the description for you guys, but also, you need to have Secure Boot enabled, which most computer motherboards have Secure Boot already built into it, so that's not really a problem. You just have to go into your BIOS and enable it. Now there's some Windows 11 features that kind of remind me of a different operating system. Microsoft, what are you doing now? I thought you are supposed to be different than Mac OS. This includes a new clean design with rounded quarters, pastel colors, and a centered start menu and taskbar. There was integration with Android apps, which currently is only apps from the Amazon App Store. You can access widgets from your taskbar, and you also have the ability to personalize them. You also have this nice and new feature called Snap Layouts that will enable users to organize their apps and windows more efficiently by grouping them together and saving them to a taskbar. Then Microsoft has boosted security on Windows 11 by requiring hardware that enables protections such as device encryption, secure boot and virtualization based security, Windows Hello, and supervisor protected code integrity. Hardware assisted security was optional on Windows 10, but not anymore when you upgrade to Windows 11. A nice feature that finally has changed is Cortana is finally disabled by default. Like, who actually used Cortana? Cortana was kind of annoying, not gonna lie. It's not like Siri, though. Ah, oh, good old Siri. Tablets will be able to run Windows 11, but a tablet mode will not be available in the OS. Instead, it will have features that offer a more intuitive touch experience without the need for a separate mode. There also has been some changes to the taskbar. For instance, users can no longer pin their taskbars to the right or left of the screen, if you're even into that kind of thing, then also, Live Tiles is finally gone. Honestly, I never really used Live Tiles. I know some people might have, but they were just taking room up on the start menu. Windows 11 is currently free to users that are running Windows 10. In fact, the PC Health Check app is up to date now, so you can check if your Windows PC is capable of running Windows 11, which Unfortunately, there's quite a few people who should be able to upgrade that says they can't. So what I would do is I would just make a Windows 11 USB and just do a fresh install of Windows 11. Just make sure you have a backup of your computer in case anything goes wrong. And then you can also throw all of your files on your old OS onto your new Windows 11. Which there will be a link for that in the description down below. Now, if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, there's no rush. You have until October 14th, 2025 to decide if you want to upgrade or not. But after October 14th, 2025, you have to be on Windows 11 at least. Who knows, you might have Windows 12 out by then. Anyways guys, I really hope this video was useful and helped you figure out more about Windows 11 or if it's worth it for you to upgrade to Windows 11. Personally, I did it before it was even out publicly. I downloaded the dev version. And honestly, I liked it more on Windows 10. Now I'm a Mac user, and boy do I love Mac. But Windows 11 was a good OS. Windows 10 was actually not bad too. I just liked the more clean design on Windows 11, as it kind of does look more like Mac OS. But if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Give subscribe down below. Turn the bell notification icon, that way you don't miss the next upload to this quickly explained series, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.